looking more like for jazz and soul, uh, 70s, anything that's certain labels you're looking for, really. Manhattan transfer. <laughs> it's a sickness. You gotta make a, a afternoon out of it. But it's worth it, man. I mean, some people collect baseball cards, some people rebuild cars, and crate diggers dig for records. Look at that Def Jam, original cover, huh? Uh, well, you used, well, initially I got into it looking for samples, you know, producing hip hop. You get into it looking for those hard to find records because you want to uh, find these samples that people like Public Enemy and Run DMC and look, they got a Snoop Dogg record here. You know, stuff like Dr. Dre was using and then before you know it, you're actually looking for stuff that they don't even have. This is about finding music you didn't know existed but you've been waiting all your life to hear. It's stuff that you're gonna find that you're not gonna hear on the radio. So this might be something interesting to get, maybe. Most of this stuff is not really worth collecting. I mean, it's not that it's bad, it's just not stuff that crate diggers would buy. Well, initially I buy because I want it, but then, I'll, and then if it's something I don't like, I'll probably try to sell it or trade it. Well, initially I'm buying them because I want to I want to add to my collection because I want to be able to dig through my collection when I'm working on music or when I want to hear some music on a uh, you know a rainy day I'll just throw on some records. We got Frankie Beverly right here by May, you know Mays. Wrong cover. This is a good album right here. I don't know why it's in a different record. Check out this cover right here. Oh. Got a saxophone there. Huh? 1981. You look at the years, you kind of know what it's going to sound like by looking at the years, too. In the 70s, it's going to probably sound disco, especially if it's like African Americans on the cover, it's going to sound disco. But there's always going to have one love song on there or two love songs that will be super dope. That they just kind of didn't no one's ever heard before but it'll be super ill it'll be something like man and then you could probably use it as a, and recreate it sample it up or, or replay it and then have people rapping on it. that's what a lot of people do matter of fact i'll find out what it's worth right now might not be worth anything